grew up in St. Louis, Missouri. My parents are both from Japan. Because I grew up in the Midwest, I didn't have that much exposure to Japanese culture. I didn't speak the language. And at the age of 11, a man from Japan named Daihachi Oguchi, who's a very influential taiko drummer, came to give workshops in St. Louis. And I continued playing taiko all the way through high school, where I realized that there was this connection between music and culture. That led me to the decision to go to Japan to study more about Japanese music. To say Japanese music is encompassing folk traditions, but then we have the classical traditions, for example, theater traditions of no theater, kabuki theater, and most people would focus on one. I studied a lot of different things. My specialties are in Japanese transverse flutes. The most common is called shinobue, there's an instrument called the taiko. Taiko is a very generic word for drum. Both the shinobu and the taiko come in a huge variety of shapes and sizes. Japanese music is known for a concept called ma. Ma meaning silence or emptiness. A lot of Japanese music is the ultimate and minimal expression. It's not about, you know, speed. It's more about a lot of space and a single hit, like a drop of water. When I approach these instruments, I really think about the importance of, of each hit. It's not so much about how fast I can play or how clever of a rhythm I could play, but really, what can I say with one note? Even in the Silk Road Ensemble, we have multiple percussionists. When I play my drums, it's not gonna sound like those other drums. The rhythms and the nuances that I'm talking about come from language. Brazilian percussion comes in and plays my taiko drums. It's going to have that Portuguese kind of rhythm to it. And if you have a series of notes, depending on how who's playing it and what language they speak, the, the notes, the rhythms, and the accents are going to fall in different places. And I think that's kind of the whole point of what we're doing, is even if we're playing the same rhythm, the same melody, same piece, there's a lot of different voices kind of layering on top of each other. The combination, not just of the instruments, but of the people who are playing those instruments, it feels very magical.